You can't play piano, neither can I. All I want from you is to show me what I gotta do. In the first video that I made about this awesome MIDI controller called Lumi Keys, I talked about how easy it was and how much fun I was having learning to play piano with Lumi. I'm a songwriter and an artist, and sometimes in songwriting sessions, I've felt like I've been held back, been limited musically, because I didn't know how to play piano. The problem is that I wanted to know how to play piano, but I didn't want to have to give too much time and energy into learning music theory because that's not something that greatly interests me. Today, I wanna to talk about Lumi Pro. To access Lumi Pro, it's the same hardware, so it's the same MIDI controller, but it comes with access to Roly Studio. I really love the sound of a Rhodes, so I've been playing this Smoky Rhodes, but there are so many sounds that you could play. Which is all very cool, but the thing I wanna focus on today is a feature called Smart Chords, because I really feel like this is a game changer for songwriters who are starting to learn piano. So Smart Chords creates chords and different variations of chords when you play any note on the Lumi keys. Only loved you for a lifetime. Only said you wanna be my the chords in C minor that I was playing before are all ninths and sevenths. The root note of the scale C is in white and the rest of the notes within the scale are lit up in blue. You can pick a key or a scale and it'll give you all of the notes within that scale and then you can specify what kind of chord you want to play. So this is C major, for example, and I've got a lot of different types of chords, chord variations going on. So I'll play C, D, it's a seventh chord, E, sus four. That's a really like hopeful, even slightly sad, but hopeful chord. I like that. From a learning perspective, very cool. But from a songwriting perspective, game changer. Because it means that you don't need to know the ins and outs of music theory to be able to express your musical creativity. In the same way that I don't know the names of a lot of the chords that I play on guitar. I know that they sound nice, I know what kind of feel they create, what kind of atmosphere, and I've learned those chords and those patterns with my fingers by sight and by ear. And that's how I that's how I like it. And this is the same thing. With these chord variations, you're able to create different emotions. You're able to convey different feelings. And that's so important when it comes to songwriting. The other cool thing about Smart Chords feature is that if you play a note that's not within that scale, like this one, it'll go to the closest chord within that scale. So for someone who's a beginner in playing piano, and is bound to make a hell of a lot of mistakes, it makes figuring out nice chord progressions a lot easier and actually just possible. <laughs> There's also a lot of other cool things you can do in Roly Studio Player. You can add an arpeggiator. It can change the speed or the vibrato. And you can create the exact atmosphere and feel that you want. Nice. And as I said before, the learning aspect of this is really cool. I mean, if you can play one note and it'll light up the other keys that you need to play to create that full chord, it's just so easy. I feel like I'm really playing the seventh chords. But I know I'm really not playing the seventh chords. But I could learn. If I wanted to. So if you're interested in playing piano but you feel like you're going to be held back because you don't know where to start with music theory, don't. Leave a comment below to let me know what you think and hit that subscribe button and I will see you next time.